coming up, I'm going to be talking about the streamer, Hotstar Originals coming to Hulu and Disney Plus, plus what's new on Disney Plus today. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's Wednesday, it's time to jump into some of today's big Disney Plus news. There's quite a lot of stories I wanted to get into today. The big one really was Disney kind of did some kind of troll effort to do some advertising for the Disney streaming service. Yesterday they put up on Monday a kind of a tweet kind of looking towards a brand new Twitter account called The Streamer with two eyeballs on it and kind of this led to a whole host of speculation of what this possibly could be. They then revealed the following day that there'll be a live stream later that day with kind of a picture of a like a, a, a grassy area with some water you know and, and a lot of us would then sort of think well maybe this is due to the Jungle Cruise and expectations continue to rise and then uh, they put the live stream out and it literally was running water of a stream for three hours that's right three hours of running water on a lovely stream it was very soothing it was very lovely to listen to um, unfortunately if you needed to go to the loo you probably were going to need to after listening to that for a while and that went on for three hours and then it ended i'm going to be honest i watched it for about half an hour and was like right i need to go to bed it's nearly midnight and and it wasn't available on uh, Twitter in the US, but you could watch it on the Disney Plus YouTube channel in the US. And this kind of led to a whole host of people getting really, really angry online. You saw it on Twitter, you saw it in the, in the comments of the YouTube video. People just weren't getting it. People weren't getting what they were doing. And then they put out a trailer later in the evening featuring uh, Dave Bautista as this kind of guy in the woods on by a lake he loves streaming he watches the mandalorian he watches the handmaid's tale he watches sports he was getting ready for a big ufc fight he's also a um, big fan i love victor and that was it you know this new advert for the streaming bundle with which is espn plus hulu and disney plus in the us made total sense i mean i the actual trailer itself was great it was kind of fun you know having uh, dave batista in there as well and i thought it was just very well done but the whole kind of teasing people and getting people kind of excited and then kind of not sort of it's just felt kind of manipulative and a little bit um just getting people worked up i don't necessarily see why disney did this now ultimately they got a lot of attention about this whole thing people were really excited about it and a lot of people were angry over it and then they were talking about it and all the rest of it and i kind of go into all these things always generally looking at no expectations, let next to nothing, and then be height. You know, if you get something good, that's great. But a lot of people kind of going right at the top. You know, people I saw in the comments, people were literally thinking the Spider Man free trailer was going to be dropping at the end of this stream. And they were like, well, that's not going to happen. This is just makes no sense. Um, there was a whole host of different things going on, and yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, they got attention on it, which is obviously the point of a marketing campaign. And that kind of worked. And I actually thought, like I said, the trailer itself with um, Dave Bautista was a lot of fun. And I do think that would work very well. But the whole doing a stream of a stream for three hours, um, I don't know. It just seemed, this is like something that you'd expect on April Fool's rather than when they did it. But if they did it on April Fool's, you'd be more kind of wary of it. This one's just going to be something that is very strange, very weird. Um, it, I don't know quite what they were doing with it. But ultimately... I kind of, I could see where they were going with it. I, I know it was a bit of fun. Um, it was just a bit daft. And anytime Disney are doing a big um, event in the future, we just have to remember that at one point they made everyone sit and watch Running Water for three hours before they released a trailer for an advert. You know, it's just, you, I think we've just got to take that in consideration. It was a little bit of a weird one, but I'd love to know what you thought of the streamer event, what the whole thing. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. Like I said, very weird, very funny, uh, but very frustrating at the same time. Okay, let's move on there for now. We've got some other news about um, potential new Hot Star Originals coming to Disney Plus as Star Originals and also on Hulu in the United States. Now, Disney Plus Hot Star runs in India and in some other countries as well and they have original content created in those countries for their local audience and while most of them are released on Hotstar in countries like the UK and um, America and Canada which is technically its own different separate um, streaming service that only contains um, Indian content this is uh, an idea now that they're going to start wanting to push out this content onto Disney Plus and Hulu because they want to 
get it out to a global audience. Now, I think this actually sounds a great idea of putting it out there because ultimately, um, Amazon and Netflix have got massive collections of content from India, and it just makes sense if Disney want to ex keep expanding, use their content, you know, use it. I mean, whether or not we're going to go down the full line of seeing Hotstar merged in with Disney Plus um, around the world, or if they're just going to cherry pick maybe some of the biggest ones, see what the reactions like to that first. Because ultimately, like running Hotstar obviously costs more. I mean, there's a lot of live sports and things on there as well, but. I do think this is a massive market for Disney to reach into, and if they own the content, I want to see more of it. And just as a general, Disney are going to be making so much more local content for Korea, right through Europe. They're going to be making like 50 star and Disney Plus originals. We're seeing it in loads of different areas, so why not utilize this and put that out everywhere? Put it with some either dubbing or with some subtitles so we can all enjoy it. And also, if you're in that um, another country and you do speak that language, then you can watch it and enjoy it. I mean, it, ultimately, it's not going to cost too much more money for Disney to put it out there. If they've got the rights to it and they made it themselves, why not? But I'd love to know your thoughts on Disney releasing Hot Star Originals on Disney Plus as a Star Original and then on Hulu as well in the United States. Love to hear your thoughts. With it being a Wednesday, we've got some new content on Disney Plus today. And we got the first episode of the brand new animated series Chippendale Park Life. So you got three different shorts. They're around about seven minutes a piece, all together about 21 minutes. A lot of fun. Really enjoyed this one myself. It's kind of like for a new generation of Disney fans. Maybe not necessarily for us older viewers that love Chippendale, but I'm fine with that. I think this is definitely a cool little show. We've also got a couple new of the Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse shorts. So that one's returned for a second batch. And we've got new episodes of Monsters at Work and also Turner and Hooch. And so, yeah, this is kind of the, the little bit really before all the what if episodes start dropping um, next month. As you'd expect, there's also some local library content, including the second season of Amphibia dropping in the UK, plus the Last Man Standing seasons one to eight. They have also started to get Last Man Standing season nine. New episodes are going to be dropping every Wednesday in the UK, so that'll be running for a few months now. And we've also got a new episode of the latest season of American Dad. And again, in the US, there was some new additions including a new season of Minnie Mouse's Bow Tunes. This one's like the, the Party Palace one um, in addition to other library content. So you'll find all of that right now on Disney Plus. And on that note guys, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys soon tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com like, follow and subscribe. Also a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I'll just see you guys in another video. Laters.